What's going on? Actor Rich Morrow here, and um, after a 15-year hiatus, I am getting back into bowling, and I want to build my arsenal right, so I came to the experts here at Storm to find out what I need to do. Um, I want to let you know, if you're not getting the same treatment at your pro shop, wherever you are, they're doing it wrong. They should be checking out your statistics and making sure you're getting everything you need. So if you're not getting this treatment, make sure you find somebody that does. I'm going to bring you guys along with me, and we're going to have some fun today. Man. You made it. I did. <sighs> so, Belmo sold me on this journey. Oh, good, good. And now I need to round out my arsenal. So is this your first Storm Ball? Uh, not the first, but it's the only one in my arsenal right now. Okay. So I definitely need some help. All right. What well, you think? This doesn't tell me much. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna need you to throw some shots for me. Oh, okay. So I can get some numbers from you, like speed and rev rate. Mm -hmm. So you gotta know all that before you drill a ball for somebody. Okay. So is there anything you had your eye on lately that you've seen, might be interested in? I definitely want that absolute. That new absolute power is definitely calling me. It's a good ball, mm -hmm. but is it the right ball? So we gotta figure that out. Okay. And watch you throw some shots, all right? All right, cool. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I'll show you what I got. Sounds good. Got you. Let's see. All right, Rich. So the first thing we got to do before we drill a ball, before you get a ball drilled by anybody, mm -hmm. I got to watch you throw some shots. All right. So there's some data points I need to get. I need to get your speed, your rev rate, your axis tilt rotation, mm -hmm. and of course your positive axis point. Okay. I can't drill a ball for you if I don't have that. At all. I'm all at all. Okay. At all. <laughs> You, you can make that? an estimate, but it's, it's going to be a shot in the dark. Okay, okay, shot in the dark. It's going to be like if I call Tiger Woods and I'm saying, hey, I'm on hole number seven, what club do I use? Yeah. He's going to need a little more He's data. He's going to need to know how, like, far the, how far the, the hole, hole is, where yeah. the obstacles are, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Okay. So I'm also going to look at kind of the subtle intricacies of how you throw it. Okay. And if there's anything we need to adjust with your fit mm -hmm. or your pitch or your span, we're going to take a look at that too. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we got to get the specs. Let's get some specs first specs. On, the, on the ball you brought, the journey. All right. All right. Let's go. I got you. You ever watch Pete Weber bowl? Mm-hmm. You notice anything with his hand at the end of it? Um, like, that's how he opens yes, it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your hand is kind of crossing over. It's going in the direction over. that you're trying to make the ball spin. Yeah. Keep the hand open. Keep it open. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It may f feel weird. I, I know what it feels like. Okay. So, um, yeah, I could just rock with it. It I'm feels more curious. like a flick when I do. Like a flick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just want to see it. if it changes your rotation. Oh, I'm going to get a lot more revs. <laughs> <laughs> Could do even more. I closed it again. I got you though. Let's try that again. Keep bowling. I'm, I'm watching. Okay. Subtleties, like the intricacies of your swing. Okay. Felt like more like my shot, you yeah. know. The thumb came off quicker. Yeah, which is which is the goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. The grip pressure was lower. Yep. When the grip pressure goes up, that's when you're going to start to Pull hit these holes. Yeah. You're going to use too much circumference of the ball. Mm -hmm. You want it to come off easier. So, axis rotation is the horizontal axis that the ball is rotating around. Okay. So you're at 50 degrees. Okay. Your tilt is really low, it's mm -hmm. zero degrees. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. You do clip the holes a little bit. Still, we're going to, I think we're going to be able to pull that off. It's already changed since you've thrown this morning. Okay. So, but we want to get the tilt just maybe a little bit higher so you can okay. get, save a little bit more energy down the lane, get mm -hmm. better reaction through the pins. Okay. All right, Rich. So I think the way you throw it, the absolute power would be a good option. Really? It stays online a lot longer than most. This is actually nano based. Okay. What's the, that mean? It digs harder in the mid lane. Oh. So it's more aggressive cover stock. Okay. And even though it's Pearl, it's still going to dig sooner than mm -hmm. the R2S deep that's on the absolute power. So oh. it's going to stay online a lot longer, mm -hmm. uh, retain energy and continue harder off the spot. So I think that would be a good option. And another ball that I think 
that would fit that is the one that's coming out with at the summit peak. Okay. So this is the complete opposite direction, right? So mm -hmm. the absolute power is a textured, solid, asymmetric. The okay. summit peak is a pearl, shiny, symmetric. So they're gonna complement each other in terms of motion. Okay. So maybe we'll take a look at some layouts and mm -hmm. see how we can get those two balls to round out the whole arsenal built around the journey for you. I wanna check and see how this ball fits on your hand okay. right now. So for, no, for now, I just want you to put your thumb in mm -hmm. and just let the fingers go across the tops of the holes. Don't put them in the holes okay. just yet. And then kind of just move your hand around, you stay relaxed. Yeah, the ball sits fine in your hand. The goal, I'm gonna draw on you a little bit. Uh -huh. That's okay. I'll do it at the crease. The goal is to have that crease mm -hmm. somewhere between the top and bottom of that insert. Oh, okay. Now, you can, you can play with it. And some guys will change their span for different balls. You can take your thumb mm -hmm. out. If that, if they, if the crease is closer towards the top, mm -hmm. that means that the span is shorter. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have more axis rotations. It's okay. easier for you to come around yeah, it. Easier. But if the span is way stretched out, now you're gonna be more end over end. Mm. So we could actually put your thumb in there one more time. We might make actually be able shorter. to make it a little shorter, relax it a little bit, get you to easily just be able to hit a just let it float off the it. hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. Float off the hand. I like how that sounds. Okay. Float like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good to me. Let's do your hand just hang like this. <laughs> check your check your flexibility. There you go. <laughs> I don't want to see no memes after this. <laughs> okay. Now I want you to grab my wrist. Mm -hmm. Grab Not it. too hard. Oh. Jesus, I <laughs> broke my arm. <laughs> Holy crap. I thought you wanted me to grab it. <laughs> Is that how you grab your bowling ball? <laughs> Holy hell. Okay. I think we have our problem. <laughs> Woo! I see. I see. You know how that bowling hand can get. It's like a fit bull. It just be... <laughs> you weren't going to let go. Biting people. <laughs> All right. Uh, your pitches can do with some adjusting for sure. You have pretty little flexibility up here. Mm -hmm. Like the, those joints are, are a little on the stiffer side for what you have. Okay. So I'm going to uh, give me a little bit of flexibility so I can breathe. definitely adjust for that. I'm going to give you a couple different layouts. We're not going to use the same layout on them. They're okay. going to be similar. Mm -hmm. The balls are naturally going to complement each other. Okay. So this one's a big textured solid ASIM, and this one's a shiny symmetric pearl. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go a little longer and stronger layout with this one because okay. we know it's going to shape down lane. Mm -hmm. So a five by five by two is going to give you plenty of motion down lane. Okay. Be a little bit straighter through the fronts and then plenty of pop down lane, especially mm -hmm. for a solid. And this one, we're going to go 442. It's a symmetric, so it could be a benchmark ball for you. Okay. Uh, it is shiny. You can knock the surface off if you want to. I usually do with your ball yeah. speed. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but as it is, it's going to be pretty stable and forgiving throughout the whole lane. Okay. Nice. Being symmetric and being one of the best weight blocks we've ever made. Really? So I'll be able to use it much like I use this, but it'll probably be a bit smoother. It'll be earlier? Earlier for me. Um, earlier rolling okay the cover style this one's nano based this okay. one is not nano based so it's going to kind of retain its rotation a little bit longer but mm -hmm. once it sees friction it's, it's going really to pop pretty okay. hard nice um this one that's what i like okay that's what i like good so let's get drilling let's do it Check the fingers and the thumb for the final fit. Go ahead and do okay. fingers first and then pull them back. Okay, span looks good. good. Um, we're gonna make sure the thumb feels good. It's okay. really rough in there to begin with. So once the oil's off your hand and the lane kind of get in there and smooth it out, okay. uh, it's gonna be a little slow to come off the thumb, but let's make sure that it comes off the right way. Okay. Let's go out to the lane. Let's, let's do that. Just a one step, just go up to the foul line and, and just, just drop feel it. it out. Yeah. Bad. 
Okay. At least it came out. Throw it a little faster. A little faster. If you're yeah. confident, I just it's want to make sure out. it was going to come yeah. out first time. Just slightly. Okay, if you're feeling it's pretty normal, if you're feeling okay with it, you can start to build up speed. Yeah. What I'll also do sometimes, just to speed up the process, mm -hmm. I'll kind of like get my thumb. Yeah. Just kind of rub it around, get it in there, to smooth that. it out a little some bit. Some oil. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Learning all these new tricks. <laughs> you can feel the difference in my pitch. I bet. Yeah. Sexy. I will say it's sexy. Well, it came off clean. Yeah. It hooked. It yeah. struck. I think it's a win-win-win. So when am I gonna be ready for tour? Let's go right now. Right now. Right now. I'll be your ball rep. So as you can see, there is a lot that goes into getting your ball fitted for you. Um, everybody's process probably is a little bit different, but it should be along the lines of what you saw here today. Chad really made sure. He got all of the statistics he needed and made sure that he actually saw me throw a ball to be able to know what he needed to do. And if your pro shop guy isn't having you throw a ball or doesn't even know what your ball looks like, chances are he's probably not drilling your ball correctly. So make sure you ask questions. Even if you got to rewind this video, man, go back, find the questions that you need to ask and do yourself a favor so that you can get the most out of your game. Until next time, this is Rich Morrow. I'm signing out. Remember Rich TV and go get you some dubs.